What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to mount your GoPro on any helmet that you have. And I'm also going to share with you a trick that I use to keep this whole setup clutter free, reduce the weight of the GoPro on your helmet, and making everything as minimal as possible. All right, so this setup should work on any helmet that you have. In reality, any GoPro, any helmet, they're all pretty much universal, so you can make things work for the most part. Personally, I like to use two different types of helmets. I have the built while lane splitter. Prior to this video, this was my go-to helmet. This is the helmet I had my GoPro Hero 4 Silver mounted on, but I did get a new GoPro, and so I'll be changing things up a little bit. So for this video, for this setup, I will be using my Bell Bullet helmet. This one's gonna be a little tricky because it's very minimal, and I feel like there's not enough pockets inside of it to store the cords in but I'll figure something out because I wanna make sure everything is nice and neat on the inside and I don't want cables hanging out out of my neck or chin when I'm on a ride. So these are all the items that you're going to need. You got your helmet. You're going to need a GoPro mount, which I already have mounted on my helmet. We'll need a GoPro. Like I said in this video, any GoPro will help. I have the GoPro 7 and that works well for me. GoPro mount, a purple panda mic kit. This is basically just a mic kit that you can use for any sorts of cameras or any other devices that you need um, to create your content. And this is pretty awesome because there's a lot of things inside here and I'll show you in a second. And a headphone adapter. This is basically going to replace the big blocky mic adapter that, that a lot of people on YouTube are recommending. That mic adapter will cost you about $50 and it's huge. So you're more or less going to have to either stick that onto your GoPro or you're going to have to buy a separate housing that will house your GoPro and the mic adapter. Basically a two in one type of setup, which to me is a bit heavy. And if you're out on a long ride, you don't want that mounted on your chin because it really is pretty hefty once you have it all together. Starting with the GoPro build, just take your GoPro, your mount and your helmet. So this part is really simple. You literally just attach all the pieces together and depending on what helmet you have, you might need to use different arms. Now these are extension arms that I picked up on Amazon and I believe they were for 15 bucks and I will leave the link down in the description below. So for this, you would literally just have to mount your GoPro. Now these are brand new, so they're a little, little hard to get in there. I'll just keep twisting it until it fully threads all the way through. You shouldn't have to do this, but like I said, these are brand new mounts, and so they're kind of stiff and hard to align. And I'm sure they'll be good to go once I start using them. All right, so. Now you have that. Now, like I said, depending on what helmet you have, you might need to relocate the mount. For this specific one that I have, I just have it on to the right portion of the chin guard. And so it will just slide right through. Pretty simple. That's basically half of it. And the rest is basically just managing the cable and making sure everything is nice and clean on the inside and nothing's poking out on the outside. So, you have your purple panda. Some things you wanna keep in mind is that if you are using a GoPro that's earlier than the, the Hero 5, then you won't need a mic adapter because all these earlier years do not use a USB-C cable. Purple Panda Kit comes with its own adapter, which will work for your GoPro if it's earlier than the Hero 5. See this cable right here? So this will basically plug into your GoPro and now you have an outlet for your jack. And I believe this is the three millimeter or 3.5 millimeter. Basically any mic you need to use for your GoPro will plug into this one. So that is for the Hero 4 and earlier. If you are using a GoPro 5 and up, you're going to need a USB-C type of adapter. Now, 
if you've ever seen those mic adapter that you find on Amazon, the big blocky ones, you can see just how easier these are going to be. So this is a USB-C port that will go into your GoPro and then now you have your mic adapter right there. So all you need to do is open up that little port right there for your GoPro and you can easily slide and insert the adapter and now you have your jack popping out. And now all you need is your mic. This is going to be the Purple Panda mic. This is basically what you bought that whole kit for. This is it. And I believe this was $40 off of Amazon. And like I said, I will leave the link down in the description below when I'm done with this video. So I've already had this set up prior for this helmet. This is kind of how I'm going to keep things clean. This is how I'm going to titty things up a little in, on the inside. So I just kind of looped everything in, in a circle and using these little um, twisty wires, you can keep it nice and neat. So you have your mic and you have your mic adapter right here. All you have to do is plug that in. And that's it. And now all you have to do is slide everything on the inside of the helmet and find a way to tuck it in nice and easy. So this helmet here has a tab that's keeping it in place and you can pull this out. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. You can't really see it, but I'm just going to basically line up the loop where the little push pin is at. And I'm gonna try to push it in to keep it in place. Just like that. So now everything is nice and tucked and secured on the side of this and it's not going anywhere because it's being pushed against the pin, the little pop socket that this is keeping the, the cheek pad in place. So all I need to do is basically rotate this and find a good spot for the actual mic right here to sit on. And if you're using this helmet in particular, a lot of air gets inside. So this little microphone um, foam pad thing is not going to work, but luckily it comes with a wind blocker which you can slide onto that and I'll show you that in a second. All right guys, so here is the finished product. Very nice, very simple, very neat. Not a lot of clutter or anything like that. And the best part is I just saved you $60 from buying that stupid big and blocky mic adapter and the housing that supposedly houses it and the GoPro. Now to me, like I said, that, that's just an overkill. Too much weight. This, you'll, you'll feel some weight once you have the helmet on and for, for a few minutes, it, it ain't bad. But if you're out on a ride, you got wind blowing on you and it's just, it doesn't feel right because you feel like there's some kind of weight pulling you down and that's really not something you wanna have on your, your head when you're out riding. So by eliminating that adapter, by keeping things clean, minimal, you can have a setup like this and makes riding a lot more enjoyable and less stress on your neck and it's just easy very easy it's very convenient and there's not a lot going on in it and at the same time you get to capture everything that you are riding on whether you like the scenic views or you just want to do it for safety reasons it doesn't matter all i'm saying is the cleaner the simpler the better of a setup you'll have and that's what the whole reason was behind is okay i'm all up for that